welcome to the MBS show episode number 309. I am your host Norman Sanzo. This week I am flying solo. So let's not dilly dally and jump right into it. Season 8 was last week and it was a very awesome episode. I highly enjoyed it and yeah, it was fun. It was fun to see the change that they did. And well, a full review of that one coming soon when we finish season 8, sorry, when we finish season 7. But well, one of the actors or voice actors that played Chancellor Naysayer was voiced by Maurice Lamar- Lamarchi, something like that. Um, he was the voice of Green and so on. And in a recent tweet, he tweeted that it's official. I can finally tweet that I'm part of My Little Pony Season 8. Chancellor Naysayer may not be the nicest person by a long shot, but I'm thrilled to enter the My Little Pony universe in any way I can. And the premiere episode won't be the last you'll see of him, believe me. It seems that we'll be getting more of him in the future. And by the looks of it, I'm not surprised because he seems to be the main antagonist for season 8. <laughs> but it's fun to see. Like, It's fun to see that a lot of the actors, voice actors and so on are really excited for well shows like this. Usually back in the days, um, shows like My Little Pony, they're not something that you want to quote-unquote be associated with or you know be well known for because of well back in the day My Little Pony was not that great. Just look at G3.5 for a good example. But with this one I'm glad to see that a lot of people are very excited about it including the voice actors and the fans and also the people who work on it. So yay I can't wait to see where this goes because the chancellor here he is a very very bad dude. Talking about wanting to be on the show it seems that Patton Oswalt is coming back and he recently recorded another episode of the show with his wife. Wow, I didn't see this one coming. I mean, usually um, special guest characters don't really do a comeback unless they're really, really important. Like Discord with John Delancey. So it seems that, well, Patton also is um, coming back on. And it seems that he's not alone. Like I mentioned before, it's with his wife, Marie- Meredith Salinger. Sa- uh, I really don't know who that is. It's my bad for not researching. But it seems that, well, uh, let me see on the Instagram. She posted a photo on the Instagram. And Family Day recording an episode of My Little Pony at Last Studios. The storyline, this episode is all about family. We are the family. Scroll pick. So, yeah. Uh, it's Patton Oswald, wife, and the kids. I'm not 100% sure if the kids are going to be there or not. But still... It's fun. I can't wait to see what their story is. From what I can tell on the EQDs, this is probably a season 9 episode, probably, uh, because the synopsis for the whole of season 8 is out, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Uh, let me see, double checking. Yeah, and I'm not percent sure. But still, I can't wait to see where this goes because having Patton Oswald on is great. Usually, you don't really get... Uh, comebacks again because well you got Lena Hall she was a one-time deal Weird Al obviously one-time deal also and who else did you got but then also was one and uh, who was that guy who played Star Soul the Bearded I forgot his name my bad but still uh, usually those uh, people or side characters don't really do uh, comebacks even if they do it's usually non-voice so it'll be interesting to see where this episode goes. I, I can't wait to see how this goes. Like, I'm very excited for this episode. So if it's season 8, it's awesome. If it's season 9, hey, we'll just well, have to wait, I guess. And the last news for the week. Uh, nothing too fanciful or nothing too exciting or whatnot. But this is a heart-touching story where it's a little dull. I think probably five to six. Getting really, really excited about watching the My Little Pony movie on, I'm guessing, DVD or Blu-ray. And just having a family movie night with her mom and probably parents. I I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. From what I can tell, she is excited. You guys should go totally watch the video. It's in the 
link in the description. It'll bring you to the QD. You just go click on it and go watch it. Uh, trust me, it's really exciting. And here's the thing. This is what Hasbro wants. The target market or the target audience getting really excited for the movie. And you can clearly tell that it's so pure and so honest. And she's just ecstatic about it. And by the looks of it, I don't think she's watched it yet. So I can't... Well, there's, I don't think there's a follow-up for it. But man, if there is, there's going to be really exciting to know what she thinks of the movie. You all know what I think of the movie and I like it. But hey, it's fun to see this. Like, heart-touching story, feel-good story and whatnot. It's okay. It's, it's a nice way to end the Pony News Week. And let's head on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have we been doing with our week? So personally for me, besides the Overwatch and the day job, I've watched a movie. And said movie is Ready Player One. And for those who of you who do not know what Ready Player One is, um, I'm just going to try and read the quote-unquote short synopsis on the wiki page because I can't really think of anything witty to talk about. So Ready Player One is a 2018 American sci-fi science fiction adventure film produced and directed by Steven Spielberg and written by Zach Penn and Ernest Klein, the writer for the book based on Klein's 2011 novel of the same name. So if you guys have not seen the movie, I highly recommend go watching it. It is a lot of fun. If you guys... Well, don't really want to go watch it because you're kind of the purist who says, I want to read the book first before experiencing the movie. I highly recommend that too because I've read the novel and it's, hmm, it is different. Not hugely different or not really jarring of a difference, but there's a few differences here and there. And it's obvious for obvious reasons. Um, a good example is the book has 39 chapters while the movie was 2 hours and 15 or 2 hours, 30 minutes, something like that. Uh, what was it? 140 minutes. So you do the math. I really don't think I can in my head right now. But still, um, the movie was 2 hours plus, yet the book was very long. And I can see why they did it. And yeah, th there's a few things that change here and there. But... In all honesty, each of those stories are their own dedicated stories. One is based on the movie adaptation and the other is a novel adaptation. So you get more content that way too. So yeah, it's really, really fun. And I highly recommend go watching it because, hey, it's fun. It's really, really fun. And that's been my week. I've really done nothing much besides the movies and the day jobs and also the Overwatch. So yeah, that's it for me. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show Twitter account is at show, and you can find me at Norman Sanzo. Usually, I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And uh, in all honesty, I don't really use Twitter that much. It, it's foreign for me. I, I don't really understand it. But hey, um, I'm willing to learn if you want to tweet. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvaLife.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, please subscribe to the MB Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Sci-Fi Heart Songs review the My Little Pony episodes, comics, movies, and other shows. One of the shows that we've been handling on a regular basis, but not really, is The Miraculous Ladybug. And some other movies that we've been planning to do or not, and some of them discussions. There's a few good discussions that are in the pipeline. We'll just have to wait and see when we're going to do it. There's a lot of pony content, so probably we're going to focus on that for a while now. But hey, um, hope you enjoy the content too. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get 
for weeks early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, Mark, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You have been too kind to me. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, your humble host for this week. And I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of this show. See ya!